Leos. All right, Leos, Leos, Leos. We are getting geared up for this full moon. That's right, full moon. It's going to be a pink moon. Right, that's right. Let's make sure rose-colored glasses are moved, removed gently. So don't forget to keep your journals. We have digital journals below and also digital calendars. And those are optional. You don't have to get those journals. You can keep a... Uh, notebook that you have a journal whatever you've been using for a journal but at least journal your journey so that you can see how far you've come in this year of wealth um, and see how far you have to go see if you feel like okay I feel like I'm where I want to be in every area of my life let's get it let's see what's in your cards talking to you if you have Leo anywhere in your birth chart I already prayed over your cards Leo I'm speaking to you wherever Leo's is in your birth chart. I've already asked Most High God for clarity in every area of your lives. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description. Let's go. All right, first card out of the deck, Princess of Swords. Somebody just put doing spell work. All right, uh, the universe. Here we also have the, the Queen of Swords and also the Justice card. All righty. Here we have the Princess of Swords here. Here we have La Bruja. Here we have the Justice card. And then also the Universe card, right? Queen of Swords. And then also the Ten of Pentacles. All right. Someone is definitely trying to, um, you know, stirring up some stuff, trying to mess up your legacy, whatever that legacy is. Whatever, everybody. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. And your legacy of just kind of learning how to break a spell, you know, how to speak life over only what you want to come back to you. Mercury is a great time to increase your knowledge of self. So um, the universe is really in your favor to break karmic relationships. So you got to be real careful about the energies that you're around that keeps speaking death into a situation where you're trying to speak life into a situation. Be very careful with that, right? Many ways of breaking spells. Again, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. There's a lot of uh, ways that you can break spells online. Please take this time to learn about it because someone is definitely putting up. And I feel like um cycle has been closed out with an organization. Um, something about you maybe not getting it. Or like, you know, being kind of stubborn or something. You know, being connected to an energy. Here we have the Hierophant card. So something about an organization you're closing out. Maybe you met somebody at an organization. Somebody's uh, solar plexus chakra was out of alignment. So source is saying they're going to keep trying to reach out to you. They're going to play the bait and switch with you. Somebody's going to have to, like I said, you can kind of pull back gradually when you're trying to close out cycles. Something in you, they have played the bait and switch, bait and switch, bait and switch. You know, like a person who knows that you're trying to move on from something. And they warm up to you uh, about something else. And then next thing you know, you're in a full-on conversation about something else that you said you didn't want to talk about again. I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward. You have a guardian angel watching over you, Leos. They're trying to help you to really vet your thoughts. You know, somebody's calling you and say, hey, you know, hey, Leo, how you doing? So I haven't talked to you in a while. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. You may have to stop the conversation right there if you're not ready to cut energies out of your life. You may have to, because they could be like family to you at some point, but they know exactly how to warm up to you and to strike. Here we have the Five of Wands, the Fool card. Here we have the Justice card, the Eight of Cups, the Lover's card, and then also the... Page of Cups. They could have been a lover at one point. That's why I always tell people to close out cycles with exes. Because that's what this is. They know how to put a spell on you. It would be doing an injustice to yourself to stay connected to them. I keep trying to tell everybody all karmic relationships are going to be broken. So, source is saying, I'm about to make you booked and busy and not burdened. So, stay away from them as much as you possibly can. There are some people you may be thinking that they are um, practicing in dark magic and they may not be, may or may not be. But the only way you'll know is to cleanse by your element as a fire sign. 
increase your prayer life, but don't forget to increase your meditation life as well. Eight of Cups. Definitely um, look like somebody has moved on from some disappointment. You're seeing things a lot clearly, clearer now. Your head and heart are no longer at war with each other as it relates to people, places, and things. But, yeah, somebody could have warmed up to you as some kind of organization or something. Maybe you met somebody at church. Um... They became like family to you. Now you're in the light about some things. Now you're in the light. And energy is trying to pull you back. It's Aries energy here. Somebody's watching you. They are watching. But Source wants you to get some rest. Source really wants you to get some rest and um, move on. Here we have the Empress card. Yeah. I see you cutting ties with two types of energies and move on because, again, it's just been a nightmare for you. Yeah, it looks like you could have met somebody in some kind of organization. They were just trying to see if you want to be a part of the in crowd. Like, you, if you were, even in your, a lot of times in your younger years, you want to be accepted and, you know, by groups of energies and so on and so forth. They, um, it would be modern day people, you know, the, the term that people use is a pick me, like back, back in the day. You may not consider yourself as that right now, but somebody knew how to pray on you. Like somebody knew how to pray on you. So they may have felt like, okay, you know how some like, uh, you could have liked the popular girl, popular guy in school or who was a part of an organization or whatever, or sometimes families put people together, those kind of things. So, so it's just saying, stay as far away from them as, as fast as you can. Just keep it as far away from them. Two energies as a part of your past. Yep, make them a part of your past. Move on. I see you being booked and busy, not burdened at all. They are now become a part of your past. Move on from them. You have a lot of great ideas. Somebody's been increasing their prayer life. Don't forget to keep increasing your prayer life, but also your meditation life. If you make it a daily part of your day, things won't seem like they are. You've already moved on from some disappointments. You've already moved on from some disappointments. So don't keep adding that to your routine. It's like waking up looking for a disappointment. This is where you're saying, I'm only speaking into existence what I want to come to pass. Let's see what else we got. Let's see you have a very rich legacy here. You have the gift of deja vu, remembering the future. Somebody's not happy without you. Your new home awaits. Time for you to relax. Like, really, really learn how to relax and only speak into existence what you want. That may be really difficult for some people, especially if whatever comes to your mind may come out of your mouth, but can also create your reality if it's negative. Or if, if it comes across as confusing. The answers you seek are coming. They don't. Please don't return their call because they want to talk to you. And like I said before, you can scale back on talking to certain energy because it was this was like a form of mind control. They know exactly what to get you riled up and upset. So whether they did something to you directly, and that really is it seems indirect because it may seem like they weren't the one holding a sword or the blowtorch directly, but because they keep talking to you about it is getting you even more angry and upset every time you talk to them, right? So they know exactly how to get you riled up and upset. It's like a person who is saying, prove your loyalty to me by um, doing what I want you to do. So a person who starts something, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. So they may not be bold enough to go say something to somebody else, but they give you the courage to do it, right? They know that you're a fixed sign, that you're a very loyal sign. Um, somebody has just found your demons. So you're going to have to take your power back. And I see you doing that. That's how you were able to make it to your throne, and that's how you are able to make it to your throne in your air, and also your fire here. So... Cut the phone calls off. Here we have much better lies ahead. Yeah, much better lies ahead. You were dealing with somebody who likes to instigate stuff. 
and that's how they were able to do the spell work. Do 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 do. But there's a clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will arrive. You shift from mind, my mind to God's, God's, God. Such freedom. That's right. Such freedom. Getting away from those instigating energies is not really helping you. You know, move forward. You left a circus situation behind. Good for you. Good for you. 44, I am supported. That's right. Your angels are encouraging you to continue in your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. That's right. There's some energies like that. I feel like it's two types of energies that... um. definitely was like an initiation without you knowing that you were that maybe you were being you didn't realize you may have been being used kindness I'm full of loving kindness I'm full of goodwill toward those around me I am surrounded by warmth I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I'm grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile can make someone's day. I allow kindness in my heart to run free. So keep being kind. Keep having a good heart. <clears throat> um, but please get your rest. Keep pouring into yourselves. Um, you're moving through a rite of passage of not allowing people to... Um, keep causing you to go through more nightmares that's what i have for you i'll see you all in the next reading here are your questions for the moon and virgo for those of you all who like the questions first question is are you ready to define what you no longer need or want with a practical and objective eye the second question is can you define what you are to fix and what's not in your life? The third question is, do you feel any fear around being fully self-sufficient and independent? Fourth question is, how could you learn more from nature? And then last but not least is, could you share your free time and your energy in a valuable and charitable way? Um, a moon in Virgo, when you watch this video of the moon to be in Virgo, it lights up all of our focus to detail and the ability to um, analyze pros and cons with a practical and objective ear, right? And so... When I look at this reading right here, and I see the fact that someone has kind of been in your ear about some things, you decided you're not doing any more injustices to yourselves. You're only speaking into existence what you want to come to pass, and that's it. That's what I have for you, Leos. I'll see you all in the next reading. Let's get ready to remove the rose-colored glasses gently and not be forcibly removed. Release all, if you can, just ask, pray to God, where are the unhealthy and wounded relationships in my life? What's in me? Am I attached to anything that's going to wound my, that's going to cut my wounds deeper, that's unhealthy, um, that I need to release? I need to go through a very powerful transformation and, uh, and watch Source do it. That's what I have for you. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.